Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about materials and textures in Unreal 4. If you haven't watched the previous videos on materials and material instances, I recommend that you watch those first. So in my project, I have materials already made, I have a master material and a material instance, and then I've imported a model, and in my textures, I've imported an AORM, an albedo or base color, an emissive, and a normal map. The AORM is a channel pack texture. It is the ambient inclusion, roughness, and metallic map channel packed into one texture. Each one of those maps are just black and white data, so you don't need a full color range for them. If you look at Photoshop or GIMP, you'll be able to preview the different channels, RGB or even RGBA. Now for a channel pack texture, we want to change the import settings for it. We want to go to the compression settings, and we want to change this to mask. And just to make sure, under texture, make sure sRGB is turned off and then save it. For the albedo, we want to leave this at default. We want to make sure that sRGB is turned on. The emissive, this is actually going to use the full color range as well, so we'll make sure default is turned on and sRGB is turned on. And then for normal map, Unreal should have already read it as a normal map and set it correctly, but if it didn't, under the compression settings, you want to set this to normal map. And we'll save that. In my model, I'm going to open this up so I can preview it. I'm going to apply my material instance. And then we're going to move on to working in the master material. So with textures, there's a few different ways that we can add them to our graph. You can go to your textures and you can just drag and drop them in. Or you can hold down T on the keyboard and you'll have a texture. And then under the details, you can change what the texture is. Another way is by right clicking and typing in texture sampler. Now for right now, we want four texture samplers. This first one is going to be our base color. So we'll drag our base color or albedo in. Make sure that the sampler type underneath texture is set to color. Our second one is going to be our AORM. Drag that in. Make sure it's set the mask. Our third one is going to be our emissive. Make sure that's set the color. And our fourth one, this is going to be our normal map and make sure that that's set to normal. And the next thing to note here is that these are just texture samplers. These texture options are only going to show up in the master material. They're not going to show up in your material instance. So we need to convert these to parameters. So we'll right click, convert to parameter. Once again, this first one is going to be our albedo. The second one is going to be our AORM. Third one is going to be our emissive. fourth one is going to be our normal map. So let's look up the albedo first. We'll hit save. Even though we see it showing up on our mesh, let's take a look at the material instance. Make sure that the parameter is showing up. Good. Next, let's look up the normal map. We'll hit save. And that's showing up. And it's showing up in our parameters. Next, let's hook up the AORM. So once again, this has our AO map our roughness map, and our metallic map. Now the benefit that Unreal gives us is that we don't have to split this texture apart. We don't have to break the RGB. There you have those options available to you right here. AO is the red channel. We'll plug that into AO. Roughness is the green channel. We'll plug that straight in. And metallic is the blue map. So we'll plug that straight in. And we'll hit save. And it's showing up. We'll double check the material instance. Showing up in here. The last thing we'll hook up here is the emissive. So we can plug the emissive straight in, since it's full color, and we should see it show up. We'll hit save, and we can see that it's working. But if you wanted to give the emissive a little bit more control, we want to add a multiply node, and we want to add a constant one. And we'll convert this to a parameter, and we're going to call this emissive intensity. So we'll plug the emissive map into the top, and the emissive intensity into the bottom. We'll plug this into emissive color, and we'll hit save. And you'll see that it looks like it went away. If we pull our material instance over here, we turn on all of our checkboxes, emissive intensity, we can now scale this up or scale it down. Now from here, if you have different unique meshes like characters or props, you could duplicate the material instance, and you just slot in different textures according to those assets. 
All right, guys, this should cover materials and textures. If you guys thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.